Is he guys? Hi, pretty. It's conditions <laughs> to that statement. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my daily Ramadan vlogs. So much to update you on because the past few days I've been nursing my sick husband back to health. If you guys haven't read the community tab, run, pause this video, go onto the community tab and check out my latest post on there. I have a little story time and you'll kind of understand why I've been gone for a couple days. But I'm back. I'm so happy to be here. Today was a very, very good day. I have this rare beauty... PR box that I want to unbox. I just want to quickly do my makeup to feel a little like better. I'm feeling very blue. So yeah, there's no foundation in here unless I'm... Ooh! Guys, there's a second layer. So when you open this up, bam. Mm hmm. I'm excited. So we're going to do a full face of Rare, minus the foundation or concealer, because I, I don't think they sent me that. Right, how have you been for the past few days? Have you missed me? I missed you guys. I mean, this year I will be 30 years old. I can't believe it. Honestly, I don't even know where the time has gone. Between the ages of 26 to 29, I don't remember anything other than giving birth to my child and moving, buying a house and all that stuff, but I don't remember anything else, okay? I've been living in like, sort of like a dream. Like my reality kind of feels like a dream in a good way, sometimes in its kind of scary way. But Alhamdulillah, we are here and I hope to meet 30 this year, inshallah. I am so much more sure of myself. I'm so much more confident. I know value, value in myself, value in work, value in <laughs> the help of others. I, I, which sounds kind of rude, but that's the reality of it in business wise. Like, you know your value, you know what items, the value of items are, the work that it takes to put into something, into yourself, whatever you're working on. You're just so much more sure of yourself. I, it's not like I completely don't care about anything. It's very easy not to, not to care. I just, the reason why the whole 30 thing came up is I just did an ad with Elizabeth Arden on their day cream on their lift and firm day cream Mwah, an amazing day cream and i was just thinking to myself like 30 oh my god i'm pushing 30 like feels like such a big number but actually i feel like my life is just beginning i'm like a concentrated version of myself a confident like level-headed version of myself than i've ever been your 20s are definitely you getting burnt out you learning from mistakes 20s yeah i your 30s inshallah should be like a year of like okay now you've overcome the little hurdles that you had full control over you had control over how certain situation has made you feel or the outcomes of certain situations now that you're like the best version of yourself that you should be in your 30s i feel um now let's live like now let's go out there and experience things in the most surest form of yourself this has nothing to do uh, with how I'm feeling. Maybe it does actually. I went to see a new therapist today. I am so excited because she's not someone I would usually deviate towards. You, the first session is more of like you introducing yourself, what you do, your family, blah, blah, blah. Um, but she seems quite promising. First of all, can I just say everybody needs therapy? Okay, everybody should get therapy if they can or if they have the means to. I 100% recommend therapy to everybody in anybody whether you're at your best you've ever been whether you are feeling like you have solved any childhood traumas you have or overcome any childhood traumas you have whether it is to be the best version of yourself therapy is so important important what's equally as important as going to therapy is finding the right therapist that is like so important you guys it's sort of like finding the right fit in clothing or like the the perfect black dress like you have to try on so many different ones to know okay you know what this is really feels like it's resonating with me. So today I, I went to uh, a new one, and I've only I've only had therapy once before this, um, and it was for I gave her a quite a long like time of my life before I realized. Hold on a second, not every therapist is meant for you. And also I understand what I'm looking for now and what I I'm not looking for. I'm just rambling at this point. Ooh, DPD's here. I have to drop off the orders downstairs. So let me just quickly do that. I'm back. All right, so prayer gowns are all dropped off. Um, but anyways, 
yeah, so I'm excited about this new therapist. It's crazy because I'm not, like, feeling any way. But she just sort of figured me out so easily in the first session. So it's actually, I'm very looking forward to it. Oh, so, okay. A few things came in that are... A few really cool gadgets came in, you guys. Honestly, I'm just so excited about this. First thing is a plant-based milk maker. So take almonds, soys, oats. I'm going to unbox with you guys. It makes... It makes milk, okay? And we don't, we stop drinking like cow's milk here. It's not like we're super against it. If we have nothing else, like we'll drink it. But um, we, we're oat milk drinkers here. Okay, so I've used this stick before. This is the Rare Beauty Happy Soul stick. It's actually quite nice. I'm gonna go in with the Joy Blush by Rare Beauty. I love the packaging and I love how my thumb fits around this. Something, it's very satisfying, like it's like a little pebble. Oh wow, this is like very concentrated. I forgot, I've used this once before. It's okay, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. I love this color though. <laughs> right that's so pretty I know that looks like a lot but it looks really pretty okay so we're gonna go in with her rare beauties perfect stroke matte liquid liner the sun's come out so it's like a yeah it's like a brush Ooh. Oh wow, I really like this liner. I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Mascara. This is just in black. Oh. Wow, I really like this mascara. Ooh, this mascara is nice! I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Mesmerize highlighter. Looks like this. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. And then slowly, that way I can control how much I go in with. Just going to... Mm. Ooh, that's so pretty. God, it dries down very quickly. I don't know why I thought it would be like a jelly consistency, but it's like gel at first and then it dries down like to like a like a solid powder, I guess. Wow. I don't know, I really like that. That's different. That's so different. I've never seen a highlighter that dries down to like a powder finish while still looking wet, you know? I'm gonna first line my lips with my usual brown liner. Now, I get a lot of questions about this. This is actually an eyeshadow from um, Christian Louboutin, but it's Luana412. But I've been using this as a lip liner for years, like... It's just a straight brown. And then I can go in with like a bright red and control it. Now, I don't know if you guys remember in my last video, I this is what I wore. I wore a red lip with a brown lipstick and I created like this like nude red color. It was actually from Rare Beauty. I already had it. It's their Inspire lip, Liquid Lipstick. But I'm going to try to go in with her blush that I wore today. Because essentially what you want to do is bring in something bright and corally to sort of counteract the deepness of the lip liner. 
And I'm just going to make my own lip shade. Because we already know how the red looks. That's a pretty color. You know what's crazy? The brush felt so intense. And now that it's like dried down, it's not as intense. Today I didn't use a corrector because I thought, you know what, we're going to go in with like a natural makeup. You could already see the shadows of my under eyes. Like, honestly, any time I don't use a corrector and I go in with something else, it just does not cut it. Like, you could sort of see... I feel like I'm not wearing enough concealer. But I am. I'm wearing tons of concealer. Correctors just really finish off uh, dark circles. It just completely eliminates them for me. Like, I can't live without them. Now I'm, like, staring at my under eyes. I can't, like, not stare at the fact that I need corrector. Stop me Hi, pretty. Uh, three things you tell your younger self. Go. Mm. Three things I'll tell my younger self. <laughs> That's right. I would say, first and foremost, open a savings account. Definitely. So okay. one thing I'll tell you is <laughs> open a savings account. I mean, account. that's standard. Yeah, I did it, so I made that mistake. <laughs> Another thing I would say to myself would be... Mm. I mean, take more risks. I would definitely say to my younger self, take more risks. I don't think I took enough of that. I took some risks, but I think I was too cautious. Okay. So definitely take more risks. And um, listen to yourself more rather than what other people are saying. Listen to yourself more. That's a good one. What about yourself? <laughs> I'm like, Why are you laughing? Because I'm here. Sorry, I'm not even so like, what's going on? <laughs> oh, okay. oh, you're hungry. I am always hungry. Uh, it sounded like it. Look, you've got the sunlight. Can you see? The crease. Oh, no, I, I woke up like that. No, no, no. It's, it's from the sun. I, I woke up. No, no, it's the sun. Um, it's the sun. Three things I tell myself. Um, Why's the mic over there? Because the the lens itself goes. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, so to it. Okay. Um, three things I would tell myself. First thing is, like, don't have too much confidence in people. Basically, have more confidence in yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another thing I would say is, don't accept no for an answer. If you think you could do it, just go. And, why are you laughing? Huh? Why are you laughing? I mean, that's subject. That's like, uh, there's terms and terms, T's and C's with that. No, don't accept no for an answer. I mean, if there's something you want to do and someone tells you no, if you still want to do it, go for it. No, but it's like, imagine a guy would be like, I want to go get changed in the women's changing room. And he'd be like, don't take no for an answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, there's terms to it, there's conditions to that statement. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I mean, like when someone rejects you or something. Not, no, not in a relationship. Sorry, they're they're. <laughs> I mean, professionally, like. Because men know female have nicer toilets than men do as well. That's another thing. You know. It's so funny. Uh, I meant like in it. business or like oh, okay. in like your career. Don't like. So you no say that? Then, it's not in relationships. No, but that was too broad. <laughs> that was too broad of a statement. That could apply to a lot of things. Listen, you gotta clarify over here. Everybody, babe. You gotta clarify. Okay, fine. And to be to be more detailed, um, I meant in business and work and in career, not in relationships. <laughs> and the third thing I would say to myself, it's always sunny on the other side. Yeah, that thing, that thing is so I think yourself. what I okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what you tell yourself. Yeah, I would okay. say it just like that, I'll with that like, tune. Yeah, okay. Now I would basically tell myself, you know what, Manel? There, there are worse things. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If you say a shot lot, it doesn't happen. It wasn't meant to happen. Yeah. God has better plans for you than you have for yourself. I want to do sure, more, I want to do, I want to do more couple, couple of couple. Oh really? I do, yeah. You do, man. I do. That's Let's so amazing. I, I missed them. We Comment down below, jokes. guys. What kind of questions would you like us to answer? Actually, you know, I do have some. Um, husband's <laughs> view on his wife becoming a mother, becoming a little family, and how this experience 
how this how is this experience for a man? Mashallah, the beauty and the progress of marriage. I'm going into parenthood. We didn't know what we we're doing half no. the time. No, we didn't. So it was a scary. It was like a scary roller coaster. You know, you have like the thrills, and then you have like you have like the things where you're like, oh, like you freeze and you don't know what to do. But at the same time, it was we were in it together because I was already, like I wasn't a parent before you were a parent before. But saying that you said you kind of like you know you you experienced with raising Sammy and stuff. So. Wow. I don't know what was going on. I thought, you were to, I thought you were trying to block the sun or something. No, know. but it's back. Have you noticed that it's back every time no, I no, I'm no. in the screen? So like, no, I thought I thought I think it's amazing. You know, the fact that we're in it together. We're doing. How do it you together. feel as a man? I feel. I feel. Do you have like a newfound respect for women? Oh, hundred percent. Of course I do. Absolutely. I've always. I have always. I've always had respect for women. You know, but absolutely for 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 mothers in particular. Yeah, absolutely. So in the beginning, when it was like breastfeeding time and stuff, so I, I trust me, there's a lot of respect for women because it's, it's tough. You know what I think? I think every man should wake up with his wife. Uh, I mean, that's not healthy because I'll tell you why it's not healthy. It's because imagine you've got phones and you're both, you're both the phones are at 5%. And when they both but die, not a lot of no, 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 listen, listen, listen. When they both die, then neither is good to one another. However, if one person's recharged, and the other person's on low, then it means when when you need to take a break. But sometimes when mine battery is low, um, not mine, but your women. Your battery is always low, so I need to I need to constantly make sure that. But I'm some husbands charged. don't. It's bad because then then it's just it's just it's just a, a chaos waiting. So to happen. what do you have to say to those husbands? Uh, don't don't listen to other outside parties. You get your rest. Wait, what? And, uh, husbands, I said. Oh, husbands, sorry. Not wives. What are you telling the husbands to rest? They've been resting. Nah, you don't know. We don't know. Everyone's circumstances are different. No, but the ones that that rest are resting. Then they need to obviously then take over when the, so that so that the other half can. You have mates that were like, "I'm not changing nappies. I'm not doing the loud that broth in it." Blah blah. Yeah, no, nah, it's a, it's a team effort. You know, it's a team effort. Unless someone's allergic to diapers. Maybe. Are you trying? I'm not obviously. What are you doing? I'm not. <laughs> well, certain products, I know. Anyways, what? Depends on. <laughs> I think every. He's trying to save every any of those guys no, that are out there. I think to if you right can, now. I think listen. If you can, you should help. If you can, you you can. Of course, you can help. Every husband can help. Yeah. If you're not helping, what do you? What's what is the use of you? Yeah, it's true. You need. To no offense. Help. I'm speaking on behalf of your wife. What is the purpose of you if you're not helping? Yeah. Yeah. I'll wait. <laughs> now That's gen- a deal breaker no, for no, me. No, today's today's generation. I think I would like to think most yeah, guys agree. generally step it up. I, I think agree. maybe I've like 20, 20 years ago is different. But I'm just thinking, like, you know what? That would be a deal breaker for me, babe. Yeah, if you weren't like helpful yeah, 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 and you were like, nah, allow that, bro. Honestly, yeah. that would be a deal breaker for me. Yeah, no, I get that. You know when like the cartoons is like. Poof, and they run, they run away so fast that so he sees a cloud of smoke. Mm. That would be me. And you know I can run fast. Can you though? <laughs> can you? Can you though? Let's not lie, the holy month, yeah. Ethiopian. You better watch. Yeah, but you didn't, times, you, didn't you, watched? you didn't get those jeans. You didn't get those jeans. You didn't get the runner jeans, okay? You didn't get that jeans. Okay, that jeans came to you, okay, babe? Don't oh, worry I, about it. Don't worry about it. Medals? Don't worry. Go, go. That's right. <laughs> okay. Right. I told him you only married me because of my athlete blood. <laughs> if that was true, yeah, I would have been, I would have been con big time if that was true. Why? Huh? Because you Excuse don't, me. you don't have, nice. the, you don't have the athlete blood, babe. But it's okay. I love you. I didn't marry you because of your athleticism. Athletic what? Athleticism. Yeah. Right, why are we leading back? Because it's just nice, isn't it? <laughs> so, like, we've been realising that it was not the greatest of ideas of doing house renovations and Ramadan started. That was kind of... No, but we should have been done, babe. We should have been done this kitchen. We should we have were, been done we everything. Were delayed. And everybody has been delaying us. Not one person hasn't delayed us. Yeah, but I, I think we should have We should have tried to start sooner. Honestly, we did nothing wrong. But not start sooner. Yeah, I think we should have started sooner. Because I was like, you know what? Prepare prepare for setbacks. We uh, realise we we've been very unlucky with a lot of a lot of 
situations where every is, situation where there is materials being delayed or um but every notice every situation that we could have been unlucky with we have yeah we have but you say alhamdulillah alhamdulillah yeah, no, you just say alhamdulillah you carry alhamdulillah. on with it and um alhamdulillah for everything yeah absolutely but i really i was looking back i was like you know what this is not the best way but there you go especially when you have a little one <laughs> Yeah. It's like 10 times harder. So what do you want for dinner, babe? Huh? You have to tell me now because we've got groceries. Go what time is it going to pick up Adam? Yeah, no, I'm going to go. i got to go. Yes, go. i got to go. What, you have right. to tell me what you want for Tara because we have 15 minutes to pick it up. Are you going to throw things at you? Like ideas, not actual objects? Mm-hmm. Um, nice. uh, we can make stuffed chicken. Okay. With chicken breast, with cream cool. cheese and uh, spinach. I'm not feeling cream cheese. Okay, we can do. Um, oh, we can do roast chicken, but we would need. No. I would need the ingredients no, now. Roast, I think we'll take. We'll, no, yeah. I would just need an hour to pop it in the thing in my new Le Creuset. You guys bought it with me, remember? Mhm. Nice. Roast chicken with potatoes and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that. With I'm, I'm happy with, Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. I'm okay. happy with that. Right, we gotta go. go you get, can you wash the chicken? Uh, I can't cause, because I'll tell you why I can't because right now I'm like really hungry and if I'm looking at food Raw chicken's gonna make you hungry? It will, no no actually it'll make me not feel well because I just had a bad stomach oh. uh, So it would make me want to throw up so please don't make so, me go through that But what about if it's cooked? If it, what do you mean if it's cooked? If the chicken's cooked then it won't make you throw up No but it'll make me hungry though because the aroma of food So you can't help? Uh, not right now because it's very close it's so coming up to what's big? What's I'm going to be watching you? Adam, isn't it? I'm going to be watching Adam whilst you do that. So it's a team effort. Yeah, you know, you're you're tempt, you're trying to tempt me with food. With what? What do you mean? By asking you to help cook it? Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna get really hungry. Well, what about all the women out there that make iftar? I know. I, that, again, the newfound respect as well. I've always. Shut said up. That. <laughs> I've always. Get said out that. Of here.